Welcome back. We are cracking on with Hogwarts. I don't remember what episode we're on. Is this where I need to be? 10 or 11. I think you gotta be there in the daytime. Oh. Um. But yeah, we're moving right along. I didn't feel like... Sorry. I didn't feel like this game was this long when I was playing it, but like... But you gotta sit down and play it. Well, like going through and editing videos and... Keeping an eye on I'm like, man... Because I, I, I don't know, I guess I just, I thought all of like the story missions were kind of short, but going through playing them, we do like one, maybe two missions a, an episode. Maybe we'll just have to crack it and be like, all right, we're going to do one, one mission per episode. Or maybe not, I don't know. No, never mind, that's stupid. Disregard that. We'll just keep going the way we're going. So, so, where are we at? I may or may not have accidentally done a main mission on my own. I didn't know it was a main mission until at the end. So, um, but this is this one's more to the story. Excuse me. Yeah. So I. Excuse you, son. Whoa, he is... He's he, booking it. He's, he's excited to see his sister. He loves her. I wish I loved my sister. Whoa. <laughs> I'll go ahead and not cut that off. <laughs> That's a joke. I love my sister. Am I just walking into your house? Yeah. yeah. Go on in. You're going to do a lot for his family that you... In, in, in a real life scenario would be like I'm not doing this shit why would I ever do this Sebastian where did you what? what's wrong with her she I know she's cursed but that's the thing oh she it's... can't have onions no so his uncle's mad I think his uncle used to be an or yes it just said that um so he's mad because Sebastian keeps co like finding new ways to reverse a curse and every time he brings it in, his uncle gets mad because it, he's basically, um, he's getting mad because he's like giving her false hope where his uncle just wants him to accept it and move on with the fact that his sister's going to die. Um. You know? So Sebastian won't give up trying to find a cure or some way to reverse a curse. And his uncle is just like, no, just... Is his uncle, uh, uncle Solomon? Yeah. Is that who I need to talk to? Mm-hmm. And he's like, just just forget about it. Just leave it, basically. And Sebastian's like, I'm not leaving it. I'm going to keep going. Um, and that's kind of where we're at. Like, he just told him off. Solomon! There we go. That didn't transition as smoothly as I wanted. Yeah, so it's... It's just kind of awkward because, I mean, I don't know, like, and this is way back when, you know, I don't know how much re re research they did into how social people were back in the day. But it's just kind of awkward to me. Like, I feel like if I watched my friend and whoever was taking care of them, you know, like your parents are dead, like your uncle's taking care of you. If I would have, if we would have been dating and you would have gotten in an altercation with your uncle, I don't think I would have been. Hey, let me go smooth this over. I just I been like, know, times was different back then. I, I would have just been like, well, yeah, that guy's a, a piece of shiz, you know. Like, what, what a douchebag, you know. I don't think I'd be like, let me go talk to him. Let me go figure what, figure out what's going on. So. Mm. Well, here we get into the nitty gritty, don't we? Yeah, so... <sighs> hope is a bitch. I hate hope. Nothing like clinging on and just getting crushed over and over again. Ah, uh, builds character. Yep. So we're currently in a fight, Brady and I. We're not in a fight. You're in a fight. I've I'm not on. in a fight with you. I don't care. But you were really going after me on Sunday with your brother. You attacked me. You attacked me. Oh, it's not a fight. It's me. Good day. I'm in mourning. <laughs> so it's not, it's not a fight. It's me in mourning. And you're like, mm. I'm sorry about 
It I'm is just what trying it is. to dish you dish out your own medicine. No. Hey, is that D money? No. Oh. I'm just gonna take this. Yeah, this is a letter to him. So no, I I think so what we're talking about, if you've been watching this we've talked about it on nearly every episode and now I have to be the bearer of bad news. The podcast no longer exists. She deleted the entire podcast and all of its everything and I'm like, Okay, well my my only way of looking at it is I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to sit here and be like, I understand why you did the things you did. Because if it was me and I'm like, I want to be done, I would have just been done. Like, I would have put out an episode saying, this is it. I've decided not to continue forth. I'm just done with it. I don't, I don't like it anymore, whatever. And ended it. But you don't like to do things that way. You like to get eliminate all traces of anything. So you, instead of just... Putting out an episode where we're like, okay, hey, this is the final episode. Thanks for listening. We're, we're ending it. You're just like, all right. Deleted. So. One. It is. You just admitted that it's all on. Okay. There's several layers to this onion I could get to. But first and foremost, I told you my reasoning and it feels like. I can try to help. It just feels like you're like, well, you can take your your reasoning and shove it up your ass because I don't want to hear it. And then you continue to be like, well, I just don't understand. And I'm like, well, I told you why. And you just don't care. And then you're trying to make me feel bad. So I'm trying to shove it back in your face where you've multiple times said I don't care about your feelings. So now I'm trying to be like, hmm, I don't care about your feelings. How's that feel? No. Oh, that's sad. I guess it's kind of like... Because your reasoning was this. I guess it just doesn't relate to me because I feel like <laughs> I'm in the same boat. You know what I mean? Because you're like, I felt like I'd have more of an audience after three years or whatever. And I'm like, oh, that wasn't my reason. What the Look hell at is his going skirt. On? What? Oh, uh, I have a thing for men in kilts. Yeah, but he's. It's, <laughs> this is a ballroom gown. This is not a kilt. No, he's a freak. It's like a, he looks like the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> Oh, there's his legs. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I, because uh, after you said that, I was like, well, should I delete my YouTube channel? Because I'm in the same boat. It you wasn't know? that. I feel like you. <sighs> I feel like characters are always cockeyed when it's just like looking at them, but then when you look at them normally, their their eyes are fine. I feel like his uncle's kind of being a dick. Is that just me? No, his uncle's being a complete absolute asshole, but. Because it's like, if it's not going to... Okay, let's say there is no cure. Is it really going to hurt to try things? Like, yeah, giving her hope crushes her, but it's like, what if one of those crazy things works? Yeah. It's... I don't know if that's relevant or whatever, but there's always that. Oh, that statement kind of hit me. Anyway, go on. I always feel like you, you see these studies where it's like, so-and-so had cancer. And it's like, this person did treatment, and then they recovered, like, record speed or whatever, and then other people did the same treatment, and that person died, you know? And it's kind of like a, a mental thing. Like, if a person has it in their head, like, I'm going to get better. Like, you always see it with, like, you don't always see it, but a lot of times you'll see it with people that are in those inspirational videos of, like, I was paralyzed, and now I can walk again. And it was always, you go back through and watch their old stuff, and they're like, I'm going to walk again. I'm going to walk again. You know, they just had it in their head, like, this will happen, mm -hmm. you know. And then there's those people that can come back from, like, not being able to use their legs and coming back. Like, I'm not, because there's probably different levels of paralysis. But it's like, I just feel like there's people that have, like, certain drives that are like, you know what? Yes, it sucks to have hope because it's, you know, giving you, sometimes it'll give you a false sense of everything's going to be okay. Oh, oh, where'd you go, bud? But Oh, are we fighting now? Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, maybe Ooh. that's the, the thing that this person needs to hang on, you know, instead of just, I'm dying. Uh, I've only got a few, because you always hear those stories about people like, 
They were given three they? months to live, and they've been alive for like where's ten the, years. Where's the guy at the crossbow? I need him. He's up on the top. Is that him? Yeah. All right. Well, give me that. Oh. Did I not steal it? No. You. When he's going to shoot you, R1 pops up, and you grab the bolt out of his gun and slam him with no, it. No, what do you mean? Well, I just was like watching you do it, and it keeps popping up, and you're just like, I'm stealing it. Sorry, I'm just annoyed because I keep making sorry. a thought and you're interrupting me. But anyways, moving on. I'm sorry, I thought we were here to play a game. Sorry. We are. I was just... Was... Moving on. Awkward episode. This episode will be called Awkward Episode. But yeah, anyways. Anyways. The goblins, right? Right. <laughs> I don't really know how to talk to you right now. <laughs> um... Well, I killed the guy with the crossbow, so I can't do that. Oh! Well, even like, I just feel like if... If I had somebody in my family that was really sick, I would be like, Hey, you're gonna die, just accept it and live the rest of your life out, you know? It's like, no, who the hell would say that besides like a psychopath? Like, somebody else would be like, you know what? It, it's gonna work out. Uh, It'll all work out. That guy is pretty freaky. Oh, I have a purple. It's funny because now I'm realizing like your your dueling feats are different. I guess they're just random, you know. I I always thought that, but then I'm like, I feel like they what they always show up for the same for me. Whenever I fight those stupid commanders, it's always like use Des descendo. I think whatever one slams them into the ground because that guy does a running attack where he jumps at you, and when he's in the air, you can. Slam him into the ground. Yeah. And it, because it was, I remember it was asking me to do that on this because I was so focused on actually doing that that I got killed and I was like pissed off. I'm like, I wonder if that's like a tactic of the game is to kind of distract you. Be like, oh, you need to focus all of your time on doing your stupid. Oh, did not dodge in time. Your stupid whatever yeah. and not worry about actually fighting. But. Uh. Let's hit him with this. These are always fun. <laughs> I like how they fall over. Like, I don't know if you've gotten to that point yet. Whoa! Where you're like, like do you have your vivarium yet? Yeah? Is that where my... Your animals are? Yeah, yeah that was the, apparently a oh, main that mission the... that I did, and I apologize. Oh, I can't carry anymore. Um, but what I've noticed is my... This spell. Mine makes a little circle. Yeah. Our daughter on her game does not. Okay. Is that because I upgraded mine? I feel like mine's always been a little circle. And you've had yeah. it be in the circle. But hers is just... No. Hers, I... So... Because I got on her game today and was, was playing for... And oh. I... What are we looking for, bud? And I realized that I hadn't upgraded any of her spells. Like I'd upgraded other parts. Like I, cause she always, she always goes invisible. Like even on my game when I'm playing, I'll like land and she's like, go invisible. And I'm like, I'm at the point where I'm like so OP that I, you know, just like one or two hit kill everything. And she's like, go invisible. And I'm like, but I don't need to. But she wants me to. So I went in and like. Upgraded her invisibility all the way because she loves to go invisible. And then I realized after I'd spent pretty much all of her points that I hadn't gone and done her any of her regular spells. So yes, your circle hmm. is because you updated or you put your your ability point on your flame spell, whatever it's called. I can't remember. You seem pretty ruthless. I'm gonna go with this answer. But I'm convinced that they were trying to fight. Oh, I chose wrong. <sighs> Oopsie doos. Or as my kids say lately. Oopsie kitties. Oopsie kitties. I had when we went to the gas station today. Um I just I had turned on the new Bluey album that came out. And it's it pissing me off because yesterday I could listen to the entire album like it was all on my on my music app and now like it's all 
it's not all of it, but it went from me like being able to listen to the whole album to now I can listen to like four songs. But let me see if it's still like that because it's a new release album. Like it just like just came out. Um, it came out three days ago. Oh, now I have them all. Okay. I must have just. Must have been like a, a weird glitch. Because I went through and was like listening to it in the car ride, you know. And the girls were having a good time. But it, anyways, that was a long story to say. It played through all the four or five songs that I could listen to. And then it um, started just randomly playing through a song. And one of the songs that came up, let me see if it's in my song history. <gasps> a Hogwarts um, professor lived here. Do you think it was Fig? No, it oh. it was somebody else. There's a song that came out called Whoopsies, and it was from a show called I don't Is this know. Related? Yeah, it's just a sheer Oopsies thing. It's from a show called Gabby's Playhouse. Oh. Never heard of it, but it was just like it was a cute song for kids because it, it was like this um, kid drew a painting. And he was really pissed because his, his painting didn't look good. And then the girl gets on and she's like, I had to go through a lot of whoopsies before I could paint this good. You know, basically saying like, she painted crappy a whole lot before she could paint good. And I'm like, oh, that's a cute song. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll throw that in the, in the rotation. But Do you think this portrait's one of the ones linked to the ones in the map room? No. Um, oh, I'm an idiot for. No, I think it may be. It, it, it's. I think it has something to do with it, but I don't think it's like one of the headmaster's portraits. Maybe it is. I don't know. I, because you find something, but I don't think it's in that room. And I didn't get. I didn't get this at all until she completely says it. If you remember, because it's been. About a week. This it, is where that one vision took place? Yeah, where that girl was like... Where the town was like starving to death and drying out and all the people... Well, I'm assuming this is her. That's the the girl? I don't yeah. know. I, I haven't found her whole story yet, but... This house did belong to a Hogwarts professor. Hundreds mm. of years oh, we can go ago. ask him. What do you found a pencil well, at least his portrait. I think it's the fatter guy. That's like his his descendant is the dude that's trying to murder you, right? Is that? I can't keep up because I honestly, when they're talking storyline, I'm. Well, so there's there's so far I've met three of them, three of the professors. So there's Rackham, Rookwood, and then there's a lady, and I can't remember her name. Um. And I'm pretty sure Rookwood is the chubbier guy that looks like he's from the Renaissance. And he is the great ancestor of the Rookwood that's trying to kill you. Okay. Um, but I think, I think this is his house, but I'm not sure. I, they just said it was. That it was Rookwood's? Well, they said one of the professors, and then I started talking and... I can't read and talk. I'm not. Well, I've been looking for person. for names. I don't know if they, because they just keep saying Hogwarts professor, Hogwarts professor. I don't know. I can't remember. No, you don't send him away. I was like, do you send him away and then you get to explore more of this house, or does he explore it with you? But I think he explores it with you. Well, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, there's a lot of talking in this game. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Whoa. I'll just destroy, you know. <laughs> Are you going in, bud? Or? No, he just wants to look. He's just peeking. Just peeking. What the I... heck? Those goblins couldn't break through one wall and find a stair. Well, they I could <laughs> They could have I mean. Through. Nobody could find this. In freaking... a world of magic. I'm telling you, we're going to get to the end of this. And it's going to be like, oh, you were just a make-a-wish kit. The whole devil snare. Well, that wasn't mm -hmm. what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted. Yeah. I assume I'm gonna need it in here. Maybe. I can't Maybe. remember. 
Um, mm. I don't want to read this. Do I need to read this? Pause if you no. want to read this. Yeah. Journal entry of Isadora's. Isadora. That's the that's the girl. The little girl that grew up to see ancient magic. Isadora Morganock. Morganock. Um, I'm guessing that's all in here? No, there's something. There's more. Oh, okay. I can't remember. Well, there's no more. Blow up that bookcase in front of you. Not that one, the one to the left. There you go. Is that Devil's Snare? It is. Oh, hey. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. Ow! I think there's some. Oh. Does that have to do the mirror? No, I want you to talk to Sebastian. Oh. Your, your thing just changed. I know it sounds strange. Honestly, but... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. <laughs> I can see the undercroft. Yeah, it's weird because I keep. I don't know. What the significance is yet, I guess. But it's like you keep going to these places. And then they keep leading you back to the undercro Undercroft? Is that what it's called? I don't know what that is. It's the room um, that he showed you that was supposed to be him and... What's his name? Secret. The map room? No. Um, blind kid. Why can't I think of his name? Oh, oh, the, where he took me. Okay. Yeah, that room that's like underneath the Defense Against the Dark Arts class. Ominous, that's right. Yeah. Um... But yeah, he it keeps. So I'm guessing all of those guys must have used it. I don't know. I it's kind of shitty because I keep I'm playing through this game right, and I keep thinking like it's hard to not assume that everything is going to go south. Like I'm not gonna say like I think every one of these ancient professors is gonna turn out to be a psycho that we're actually like we're. Going to exterminate all the muggles to to take over the world, what you know, something like that. Um, but it's just like it's hard because that's how video games have like programmed my brain is to just assume that everyone is going to turn on me, and it's pissing me off. I thought that little map thing in the center was like a freaking like skull head or something poking out. <laughs> and it scared me, but it's the goofiest looking skull head. So why would it scare me? It's just got one one eye. Oh my gosh, that was so stupid. But it's not a note. It's runes. Well, I just have to sign up for rune diagram. Oh really? Walk two feet. Click square. Turn around. Click square. But it's like I'm kind of getting annoyed because like Sebastian's storyline where I'm going is it, it I'm not going to give any spoilers but it's frustrating with the game. I don't want to shit on the game because the game is really good, really amazing. But it's like it always gives you choices, you know. There's like, okay, you have two options of things to say. And I feel like no matter what I say, it's going to go to the same point. Like... No matter what I do, I'm not going to be able to, like, deviate from this path. Like, we are made to go down this path, and whatever I say doesn't change anything. It changes how people react to what I'm saying, but it's not going to change the outcome, if that makes sense. Yeah. Because, like, right here, you, you're going to have a choice in a minute to say something, and you have an immediate reaction to what you say. Because I remember I picked one, and then I immediately was like, oh, I probably shouldn't have picked that one. And then, yeah, but it has no consequence. There's no consequence. Well, I think there is, because I was told with Sebi here, you're going to learn the unforgivable curses from him. Mm -hmm. And I heard that you're, uh, like, you need to pay attention to the answers you give him. Like, if you... Give him the wrong answers, you won't learn the curses. That's just what I heard from TikTok. Okay, yeah. Is so, that true or not? Yes, it gives you the option. So no matter what, when he starts to teach I you... I have the, to do this, but I really don't want to. What is it? 
the stupid I watched you do this when we were Oh yeah, the this puzzle one. Yeah, um, it seems frustrating. You probably watch it on YouTube, and somebody could explain it a lot faster. Because I hated, I just the only way I figured it out was like, um, ooh, getting kind of full. Yeah, I just like, oh, did this? That was wrong. Retry it. Did this? It was wrong. Retry it. Um, but with Sebastian, he'll t- he'll bring up the spell. He'll be like, hey, we're gonna learn, Crucio. And then you have three options. It's like, A, yes, I want to learn Crucio. Um, I don't want to say that one because it's a bother. But there's three options. Like, I want to learn Crucio, I want to learn Crucio, or I don't want to learn Crucio. But it gives you three options, and they're all, like, a little, little different. Because um, then he teaches me... Well, I can't remember the Where name of it. Where did you get that painting for this house? I have a story about a painting in a minute, but... Okay. No, and then with the second one, it'll give you the option. It's like, A, I want to learn this because I want to learn the unforgivable curses. B, I want to learn this because I want to be able to defend myself against unforgivable curses. Or C, I don't want to learn this. You know? And it always has, like, three options, and you can kind of pick, like, whether or not you want to use them. And it's kind of... Which one should I be doing? Um... So astronomy class is going to teach you how to use those, um, what are they called? The little tables. Yeah, the tables. Sundial tables. What's the high keep? Natty's waiting for me near the castle ruins. Okay. Um, so yeah, that one. Yeah, okay. So do the astronomy one, because that one's going to be really fast, and then do the other one, because we're... We're only at like a half hour, so we have... So we'll do this and see where we're at? Yeah, you can do that. It's probably only going to take like five, maybe ten minutes. And then you can... I always forget to, like, point it out on the map. Oh, just click X. I want to... Oh. Give me this... Get the stupid... I want to fast travel. Get the rice out of your ears. Okay, there we go. I'll go up to the top. There's one up higher, but you got to hold on it and it'll oh. split, I think. Like that? This yeah. one? No. Turn your camera more. Yeah. It's like hiding right behind it. So right. Oh, I see. Right Yeah. There. Um. So what I was saying about the paintings is I follow this Instagram and they're called like oh, Scooby Scapes or something. And it's just like... Um, different landscapes from the Scooby Doo cartoon, because that back in the day everything used to be hand drawn, but it's just the backgrounds. It's not any of the characters, and you can just kind of sit back and go like, "Holy shit! Like these are really good drawings." But anyways, the 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 company that or the person that does this Instagram got with the company that like owns all the stuff, and they made it so. They could, um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to see what it's called. Scooby Scapes. They made it so, like, they turned them into paintings. So you can actually buy a couple of paintings. Like, this is one of the paintings. You can buy it and just hang it up on the wall in your house. And I'm like, oh, that's so clever. Like, that's what it looks like. It's in a nice frame. It's called Scooby underscore Scapes. And it's, yeah, it just, like, has art from the show. And I'm like, man, this is really dope. Like, these drawings are so good, but as you're watching the show as a kid, you don't really care. You know, you're just like, oh, I love Scooby-Doo. And then as an adult looking at these, I'm like, man, they're really freaking... Had some really good drugs. Sorry. But... Oh, she just called me out on my shit. That was my paint. That was my painting, sorry. That's a cool painting story. Thank you for sharing. I wanted to buy one, but they're like 70 bucks. I'm like, I, I don't even buy like movie posters for like 10 bucks. What makes you think I'm going to buy a painting for 70? Nope. I thought that was Focus. too much, but then it... Whoa! Ooh. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, oh, his head went backwards. Did you see that? Yeah, this game is glitching like crazy right now. This didn't happen to me on mine. 
Oh, is this a Slytherin exclusive or no? Are you I like about the glitches. The gl the glitches. I like this whole level having me, but none of the glitches. I feel like I've caught in all the glitches on yours, and I didn't get any of these glitches on mine. Maybe you maybe just I weren't paying just, attention. Maybe I wasn't, but that guy was like, "Oh, uh, she's so sick of us. She just wants us." She reminds me of my um. Sophomore biology teacher. He just wanted us to be so excited about biology, and we weren't. <laughs> like, that's what I feel like. She's like, oh, you should just love being out here in the crisp night air, enjoying everything. Uh, I can't... I don't want to be a charity case. Well... He's going to give it to you either way, so you can just decide how you want to react, I guess. I hate not having, uh, what's it called? Karma meter. Yeah. Because it's like, then what's the point of having these choices? It's almost like Fable 3 where you had the karma, but it didn't matter because the end result was the same. You either just had friends or you didn't, but yeah. the ending was precisely the same, so... And that's because I was kind of like thinking, like a, my character for a while before I unlocked some more clothes, I had her, she looked like a dark wizard because I had like this black outfit with a black coat and I changed her hair black and I was like, look at that nerd. <laughs> freaking loser. Get out of here. You have freaking a Vatican <laughs> over that poor soul. Like, uh, Adelaide. Oh, that's her. Okay. Our daughter's finding her uncle oh, right now that's missing. There you go. I, I fixed her. She's. Good job. Changing the world. Oh, I freaking hate that stupid redhead guy. Um. What was Did I, I go the wrong way? I went the wrong way. I can't even remember what I was saying. He's, I have to go down there. How do we get down there? Oh, yeah. Just go right there. This way. Mm hmm. Da, 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 da. That wasn't it. He said I can't miss it. Oh. Yeah. No, he gives you his um, old one because he's got a new one doesn't need that old piece of crap anymore. Is this for Harry sees Dumbledore dying? Uh-huh. Well. Spoilers. I mean. It's only been out for 20 years. Do I talk? I don't talk to you. I gotta talk to this guy. He wants to tell me a secret, but we don't keep secrets because secrets hurt. Elizabeth Smart taught me that. Damn it, this dude is freaking funny. I mean, he's not funny, but he's a nerd. Well, of course, he's in Ravenclaw. Because he speaks gobbledygook, which I love how that's the goblin language is gobbledygook. Like, legit, or you just... That, no, on this game... So the, the language that the goblins speak is gobbledygook. Oh, cool. Like they speak English when you fight them and you hear them speak in English, but you have to find him later because you're like, oh, I'm going to go find some. I need somebody that knows how to speak gobbledygook and you have to go find him. I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I couldn't remember who he was for the life of me. Oh. He's like, oh, this guy. He can speak What's with the Ravenclaws liking gobstones? Like, that seems to be their their game of choice. Well, it sounds to me like the first girl that you run into that's like, everybody hates me because of blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It sounds like it's a game that if you're smart, you're really good at. And so, like, you can figure out how to win. But then other people are like, oh, I can't figure out how to win. This is stupid. Well, he just said he was in the gobstone club. Yeah. So, I guess so it, is. it sounds like a game... Two for two. Game of skills... I don't recall it in any of the books. Gobstones? I think I... I don't know, maybe not. So this is... Okay, there we go. Put out your light. We're going to get caught. <laughs> Jeez. You so think you know see. how to... This nerd doesn't know how to sneak out. All right. He's also yelling right here. It's strange having a fellow's dog gaze at. No, I'm well, he stopped to talk. Like, just keep moving, dude. <laughs> it's not that creepy out here at night, is it? 
Oh, something to goodness. say, but I'm debating whether to say it or not because I'm. Here I am charging here, but I don't know where we're going. What do you mean I lead the way? And you gotta find. He doesn't know where it's at, so you gotta find it. Find what? The astronomy table. Well. Who puts boxes in front of a door that doesn't have a zombie on the other side of it? Alright, well. For new. Still that. Asylum mask. I think McCade said his character. I think his son picked his character's outfit and I think he had an asylum mask. Oh, there it is. You couldn't find the big freaking sacrificial table? Dude. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, what am I supposed to do? You're supposed to line it up. So you gotta zoom in, zoom out, and rotate. Damn it. I am gonna be way too stupid to the, figure this shit this out. This one's okay, pretty that... easy because you got a big star and you just gotta. As soon as you've lined up the Listen, space, not my topic. Not into space. Constellations are cool, but I can barely pick them out in the night sky. I need an app to get away with that. But. Fun story, kind of related, but not really. To help me sleep at night while you're gone, I've been listening to... Um, what am I talking to you about? Alright. Sure. Are you talking to me or him? Him. I've been listening to this guy on YouTube that, in a soothing voice, tells Greek mythology stories. Hmm. And I fell asleep to part of it, but it had to do with the goose in the sky. Like, the constellation that's a goose mm -hmm. so yeah like i said kind of related not really dumb story i'm sorry you were saying i don't remember cool <laughs> no i uh i don't know it's it's just funny oh there it is gobbledygook it's funny listening to him talk to that could, oh, so you meet him with that goblin that you helped find the helmet? Mm hmm And he tries talking gobbledygook to that guy, and the guy's like, hope you understand it a lot better than you speak. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh. I was going to say, I hope it was like, it's always sunny in Flowers for Charlie when the Jimmy-O tries to speak Mandarin to Charlie, and he's like, you don't know what you're speaking. Shut the hell up. <laughs> but really, Charlie didn't know. Yeah. Anyways, where are we at with time, bud? We are at just about 40 minutes, so... Do we have time to do this next one, or should we just... Should I do a side mission? What do you think? Um, we can, we can end it here and do another episode. Because I don't know. I feel like the next... I think... I feel like that mission is... Whoops, my stomach's loud. Um, I know what mission it is, and it's probably going to take you, like, at least a half hour to do. Maybe not. So you want to just save it for the next one? Yeah, we'll just... I mean, we'll we'll go ahead and record the next one immediately, Well, but since we'll we got, it. like, 20 minutes, do you want to do a side quest for funsies, or... I don't care what side quest do you have. Um, well, right now, my side quest is fly and have fun. Hey, there's an astrology hey, table. I did not know that there was one there. Oh, what am I doing with my life? Why is there a snake on your book? Uh, get it the hell off. So I can go find out. Oh, yeah, you have to go. I can interfere with a friendship. Um, the keys. I, this is, I have to defeat this guy. Because that's where this tower is, where he's at. Oh, that's the one that's like in the. Oh, I can go do this one now, because I couldn't do it, because I couldn't unlock locks. So I could do this one, or we could go interfere in a you could friendship. probably do both because that one's literally like you just go in like they you hear them fighting and then they talk for two seconds and that's it let's do this one because okay. it's gonna be more fun i bet probably i know where this one's at but now i i haven't been there in so long Crap, where is it? We might need to look it up. No, I went go, there. So go back in your quest. 
No, because it's a map, so I can't... Oh. I so, can't track it on the map. All right, go to your inventory. That's... Well, let's look at the map and see if that rings any bells. Oh, I don't know which map it was. Do we need to pause it real quick? Welcome back. Sorry, we decided to um, go with this one because we found out you need a level 3 lock picking. And we don't have level 3 lock picking yet, so we're just going to listen to these these guys oh. argue. Can I, I just stand here? Yes, because they're going to have their conversation. Basically, it's the same one that it always is, is ominous. Doesn't believe there's ever a reason for dark magic and blah 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 and Sebastian's like well if I'll save my sister then there's a reason you know stuff like that but yeah and that's kind of where it's at I feel like we already had this conversation I don't know but we having it again um uh Okay, here's the defining moment. If I want to learn it, I feel like I gotta go this way. But um, me personally, I have, like, me, if I were in the Wizarding World, right? Yeah. I wouldn't want to know them. So, I'm gonna say this. This is what you had the immediate reaction to. I would say, do... I personally think no matter what you say, you're going to go do it. So, I feel like even if you say the dark arts are dangerous... You're, what did you say? I I don't remember. Um, because I know that the curse that you learned off the cuff, first one. I don't know. That didn't make sense. First one you learned is the one that I'm most afraid of. Like I hate the most. Like I think it's the worst one. They're like Avada Kedavra is the worst. Yeah. I think Crucio is the worst. I'm gonna go with the dark arts because personally. I wouldn't want to learn them. Yeah. But uh, we'll, we'll see if it, either way, if it sends you. Yeah, so. Maybe this is where it goes, his his backstory. Yeah. Because I know you talk to him. Oh my gosh, my stomach is so freaking weird. Oh, I'm such a nosy bitch, but I shouldn't be. Uh, so gonna, and then that's, am I gonna yeah, say you don't that, have to tell me, and then you'll be like, "I'll tell well, you." Well, you need to know. But yeah, so I don't know. It's because I feel like no matter what you said on that last one, it would take you to this. I'd be begging for more detail. <sighs> no, no, you said. You you got all the yeah, gossip. Didn't I you? already told you what I, what it was. I don't think you did. Um. Basically, his family was, they are very evil, I guess. They're very pure blood. Like, it's kind of like the Malfoys in the movie. But then, um, so he was growing up and they were like, well, you need to, I can't remember why, but he needed to, I need to find this little guy. To use, they they forced him to use Crucio on somebody to know what oh, it no. felt like. So he had to use Crucio on somebody, but then that basically turned into um, him hating the dark arts completely because he's like, he tells you like later on when you learn Crucio, I want to say he's like, you, in order for, oh, it's by the fireplace. In order for you to be able to use Crucio, you have to want to hurt the person. Like, if you just, like, use the spell, but you don't want to hurt them, then it doesn't do anything. But if you want to hurt them, or if you want them to suffer, that's the only way that the spell actually works. I hate it even more. Okay, now I'm going to embarrass myself, because I have a twitchy finger, and I'll just... Oh, mm. Or I'll not pay attention. It's okay, I freaking... I've had some of these where I had to hit them, like, ten times to get it to do it. And then other other times where you do, it, you do it once. If you want, I can... The pressure's on. The pressure's on. The twitchy, like, my, mm -hmm. I'll just randomly hit it when it's not even close, because my finger's just like... Oh! Okay. Oh, no. damn it! 
But yeah, so that's why he that's why he hates it is because his family's all for it, and they forced him to use it, and then he didn't really want to, but they were like, "You have to," so he used it, and he's always trying to tell Sebastian, he's like, "The dark I thoughts are that. you want. So that's awful. Well, I eventually got to the point where I was just like, always taking ominous aside. All right, I got three more. Three more keys? Yeah, and then I get my uh, surprise. Your surprise? My surprise that I definitely don't know what it is because I haven't been watching you play. That's good. Because it's a motor car. A flying blue car. <sighs> I love this so much. I know. I, I haven't... Love, uh, it's I, freaking bats. I need to go in there on mine because I'm in... Christmas. Christmas. What is that? Oh, I thought it's it was just a tower of pumpkins. I thought it was a person looked, standing over there. It looks there. weird. I thought it was like a person, but um, yeah, I haven't gone in here since I've been in Christmas, so I'm just about to end. Oh God, I'm sorry. Speaking of ending, should we end it end here? Christmas. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, we'll continue on in the next one. Um. I think, I don't know, we'll just keep, keep cracking on because you're almost done with the next section because I think you have like a few more and then you move on to the test. So thanks everybody for watching and we will see you in the next one.